Vocabulary Crime and Punishment 1. Complete the words in the sentences. 1. The police officer caught the thief. 2. The judge gave her a long prison sentence. 3. A lot of shoplifters steal mobile phones. For the criminal knew the victim. 5. He was given a fine for writing graffiti on a wall. 6. Community service isn't a good punishment for a crime like fraud. 7. Last year he was arrested for shoplifting. 8. The police are investigating the theft of a famous painting. 9. In the film, he breaks into a bank and shoots a guard. Grammar. Present past passive. 2. Match the sentence halves. 1. Over 4,000 foxes are. D. Killed every year for their fur. 2. Our academic courses are. H. Recognized by colleges all over the world. 3. This type of clothing is. B. Made in our factory in Milan. For until recently, charity workers weren't. C. Paid much money for their work. 5. The buildings were. G. Designed by French architects. 6. Animal fat isn't. A. Used in our food. 7. The thief was. E. Taken to prison. 8. That window wasn't. F. Broken by my boys. 3. Underline the correct alternatives. My favorite crime program is CSI, an American series. Usually, it has the same structure. Firstly, someone is killed mysteriously. After this, the CSI officers are called to solve the mystery. They collect evidence which looks at very carefully in the laboratory. Then the CSI officers bring various people to their office and ask questions. More evidence is discovered which allows the CSI officers to find the killer. So, why do I like it? The most interesting thing is the way the evidence is found. They never miss anything, a hair, a contact lens, even a dead insect. I also like the characters of the CSI officers. They are not perfect people, but they do done their job perfectly. For complete the texts with the past simple active or passive form of the verbs in the box. Tell. Choose. Say. Catch. Give. Come. Arrest. Half. A girl in North Carolina was arrested for theft. During her trial, she was told to go home and get her favorite possession. She came back with her iPod. The judge threw it onto the floor and broke it. Now you know how it feels to lose your favorite possession. He said. Don't do it to anybody else. William Brown, aged 19, was caught stealing a TV from a house. Brown said the TV was for his little brother, who had a broken leg and was bored in bed. The judge sentenced Brown to no TV watching for a year. Amazingly, the victim of the crime said. It's okay. I have two TVs. He can borrow one while his brother gets better. Lukas Stepanovich drove through town playing loud music with his windows down. At his trial, he was given a choice, pay a $100 fine or listen to loud classical music for six hours. He chose the music. 5. Complete the second sentence so that it has a similar meaning to the first sentence. Use the correct active or passive form of the verbs in brackets. 1. Extra homework is given to the students every day. The students are given extra homework every day, give. 2. His books aren't sold in the USA. Bookshops in the USA don't sell his books, not sell. 3. The library was destroyed in an earthquake. An earthquake destroyed the library. Destroy. 4. The children didn't break the window. 
The window wasn't broken by the children, not break. 5. Hundreds of products use plastic. Plastic is used in hundreds of products, use in. 6. The thief was caught by the police. The police caught the thief, catch. 7. No one told us about the exam. We weren't told about the exam, not tell. 8. You don't find tigers in Africa. Tigers aren't found in Africa, not find. 10.2 Listening Unit 10 Recording 3 1 OK, right. My name is Sophie Dunstan and I'm 16 years old. Well, one thing I don't like is people using their mobile phones or laptops or other technology at the wrong time. What do you mean by the wrong time? For example, during lessons. Or any time when someone's trying to talk to them. Isn't this normal now? I don't think so. Some of my friends don't even hear their parents because they spend their whole life wearing headphones. I think it's really rude. And how would you stop this? Well, in my school they banned personal technology during lessons. And I think it was a really good idea. People can concentrate much better now. 2. Luis, can you just introduce yourself briefly? Yeah, I'm 35 years old and I'm a waiter. Shall I answer the questions? Yes, go ahead. OK. Well, for me, the worst thing is litter. On the street? Litter on the street. People just throw away bits of paper or drop food. But it's also on the tube. I'm a Londoner. I go to work every day by tube and people just leave their newspapers lying around. And all this paper is a real mess. How can we stop it? I don't think you can stop it. The government has tried to introduce fines, but it hasn't worked. What punishment would you suggest for people who drop litter? I'd make them clean the streets. 3. If you just give your name and age. All right. My name is Pamela, and I'm 70 years old. But I think I'm a young 70. Unlike most of my older friends, I love technology, and I use email every day. But the one thing I hate about it is spam. It is so annoying. I think the people who are responsible should be forced to sit down and read millions of spam messages for six months. <laughs> that would teach them. Of course it would. Point three, read the text and look at the pictures. What issues do you think each person will talk about? Listen and check. We asked people from different generations three questions. One, what annoys you about modern life? Sophie talks about technology. 2. How can we stop it? Lewis talks about litter. 3. What punishments do you propose? Pamela talks about spam. We asked a 16-year-old, a 35-year-old and a 70-year-old. You may find their answers surprising. Or maybe not. B. Listen again and choose the correct options. 1. Sophie. C. Is a schoolgirl. 2. Sophie thinks people concentrate better. B. Without technology. 3. Lewis doesn't like. A. Newspapers and food in the tube. For what punishment does Lewis suggest? C. Cleaning the streets. 5. Pamela loves. C. Technology. 6. What punishment does Pamela suggest? C. Reading spam messages. Read the sentences and find words that match the meanings. 1. They spend their whole life wearing headphones. I think it's really rude. Not polite. Rude. 2. In my school they banned personal technology during lessons. Formally said that people must not do something. Banned. 3. For me, the worst thing is litter on the street. 
unwanted paper, bottles, etc. that people leave in a public place. Litter. For people just leave their newspapers lying around when something is left somewhere, in the wrong place. Lying around. 5. All this paper is a real mess. Untidy, with everything in the wrong place. Mess. 6. The government has tried to introduce fines, but it hasn't worked. Money you have to pay as a punishment. Fines. 7. Spam is so annoying. Making you feel angry. Annoying.